We're tracking new developments in a local bank shooting. A lawyer for Governor Lincoln Chafee was in federal appeals court in Boston today asking the court to uphold the governor's decision to keep Jason Plew in Rhode Island. And it is a story that we've been tracking since 2010 when Plew allegedly shot and killed David Maine outside the Citizens Bank on Diamond Hill Road in Woonsocket. Governor Chafee, who opposes the death penalty, wants Plew to remain in state custody to prevent him from facing a possible federal death sentence. Eyewitness News report our Nathan Nuoso spoke with the governor today and joins us with his reaction to the case from the Providence Mobile Newsroom. We caught up with the governor at an event here in Providence today. He says there are two issues, states' rights and Rhode Island's long-standing opposition to the death penalty. Governor Lincoln Chafee still refuses to surrender state inmate Jason Plew to federal custody. The uh, interstate detainees uh, agreement that uh, it's a compact between the federal government and the states and it, it gives the governor the right to refuse to turn over a prisoner. That, that, that's the law. Plew is accused of shooting and killing David Maine outside of Woonsocket Bank in 2010. Wednesday in the U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals in Boston, lawyers argued for and against transferring Plew to federal custody. Chafee says transferring Plew to the feds could expose him to the death penalty. There are really two separate issues. One is our long-standing opposition in Rhode Island because uh, to capital punishment because we executed what many think is an innocent man back in the 1800s. And the other issue is states' rights and, and the power of the states uh, to make decisions for themselves. Chafee is believed to be the first governor to refuse to surrender a state inmate under a law governing the transfer of prisoners among states to the U.S. government. Prosecutors have not said if Plu would face the death penalty if transferred. No decision has been made. A five-judge panel will ultimately make the final decision as to whether or not Plu is handed over to the feds. With the Mobile Newsroom, I'm Nika Nwosu, Eyewitness News.